Um, I think, um, yeah, before I do, it's important to recognise this is the work of people who aren't on this call. Um, it's a small group led by Evan Bolton from PubPedChem and his colleagues who have been working on um, this sort of prototype structure validator because we, we see people more and more use of these electronic formats that we've been talking about. But, you know, you can run into problems where maybe you don't have the representation that you think you do. Um, so here's a question as to sort of like, how can we enable people to have the confidence that their representation is correct? So this is a prototype structure validator. Um, if you look in the top uh, left corner here, um, you got four carbon atoms. If you don't know your smiles, that is the smile strings for butane. Um, and you can load that and you can say submit and it will tell you whether it recognizes that as a valid smiles and it will also give you back some other information about um, that and this is presented here in a sort of machine readable form JSON which, which we show, is showing here output that might be used by other software packages. If we go to the next slide we can provide a more complex um, smile string and this one has inside it the sort of um, symbols that indicate where there are stereo centers so does my smile string represent all my undefined stereo centers hit submit um, and it the, if we go to the next slide it'll come back and it will tell us that we've got four defined stereo chemistry centers but one undefined so that tells us maybe that our representation isn't quite what it expected to be and then we can have a look at the depiction of this as well. Coming back to that diagram, we can use generate convert from the smiles to that diagram on the next slide. Um, and we'll see visually that perhaps we didn't have all the stereo centers that we wanted. And then the final part of this is let's put something in which we think is a smiles. Uh, it turns out that what we've represented there isn't something that um, represents a kind of uh, a valid structure according to whatever rules that we might have set up for our particular domain of chemistry and here is highlighted the fact that you've got five sigma bonds to a carbon which may not be what you would expect um, particularly in an organic context though if you're into boron chemistry you might have some um, uh, point of disagreement there but one of the aims of these tools is to make sure that you can sort of like provide your own rule sets that define what is valid um, and, and customize those to you uses that i think was the quick run through of the um thank you Jan. so this 